Hello, hello, hello everyone and we are going to start a new playlist on LabVIEW and in, this is the introductory video uh, that what we are going to discuss in the series of lectures of this LabVIEW playlist and uh, this is the full form of the LabVIEW that, that is LabVIEW stands for a Laboratory Visual Instrument Engineering Workbench. The name itself indicates, indicates that Visual Instrument means we will not connect them physically but virtually we will connect in the system that is in the application NI LabVIEW and uh, we will see uh, we will generate or simulate different uh, we can implement or simulate the circuits which we study in our academics what the intention in writing this point is we in this series of videos here we are going to implement the circuits that we study in our academics like amplitude modulation wave or double sideband suppressor carrier wave or uh, frequency shift keyed wave etc and this is also called as the graphical approach of coding since we connect uh, we will connect the blocks this can also be called as a graphical approach of coding and in this series of videos on lab view we will go go as follows that we will follow these um, we will do these projects or these experiments in this lab view and uh, by the suggestions of your comments uh, we will add some more experiments if that is necessary according to the time that is available for us and uh, first first video is going to be on introduction to the lab view and the discussion on different blocks that we often use so for all these set of experiments that we are going to do we need certain blocks which you often use every day or for every experiment so we are going to have a little bit of discussion on the tools that we are going to use on the first introduction video and uh, later on we are going to deal with the projects that is uh, amplitude modulation generation and uh, amplitude modulation generation and demodulation also we are going to see and here the frequency modulation generation and amplitude shift keying wave and next we are going to see about frequency shift keying and phase shift keying waves also later we are going to deal with double sideband suppressor carrier that is DSBSC wave um, we will see whether uh, to discuss this DSBSC after amplitude modulation or uh, as as the series of videos going on uh, the videos may shuffle but the contents that are going to covered will be the same and here we are going to see next about the single sideband suppressed carrier modulation wave that is SSBSC wave and later we are going to discuss about the array of two numbers or the minimum or maximum of a numbers given in an array if a set of numbers are given then by simply connecting that maximum array of the block we can find the minimum and maximum number in the given set of numbers and later we are going to discuss about the temperature conversion that is mainly from celsius to foreign heat or from vice versa foreign heat to celsius by using a simple mathematical equation that we have already and then we are going to discuss about the factorial of a number using both the loops that is while loop and the for loop that is available we are going to find the factorial of a number and later we are going to do the sum of n numbers uh, using while loop and for loop same next we are going to deal with the QPSK modulation that is quadrature phase shift keying modulation and then we will do a convolution of two signals by using a simple blocks convolution block which is already present then we will deal with the analysis of filters that is a low pass filter band pass filter and high pass filter how the signal will travel or how high frequencies will be attenuated or will not be allowed by the high pass filter all these characteristics and analysis of filters will be done in this video and then we will do the frequency division multiplexing and finally the quadrature amplitude modulation signals or the generation of QEM signals will be seen and these are the series of videos we are going to deal and these are the projects that we are going to do in the in this playlist and that's all for this video from the next video we are going to start with the introduction and discussion on the different blocks that we often use that's all for this video thank you for watching and please subscribe for more